Okay, welcome back everyone. This is the third time of me recording this video. Oh, it's because I kept forgetting to delete one of my other videos on my phone so then I have more storage for this one. So right now we're doing a uh, Cass's mission. Or quest. So, because I need experience to... Uh, because if we get a little bit more experience, that means we could get uh, Edie or Eddie or whatever you'd like to call him. But. Yeah. Alright, now we're closer here. Let's just wait until uh, morning so then we can actually see what's happening. Here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. New Vegas here. You're also great, and we're going to keep you listening all day. We've got some news for you coming right up. Patrons of the Ultra Lux are questioning whether as pricey restaurants, the gourmet is overstating the fullness of its wait list. Those who claim to have done So, yeah, I was just running, uh... Cross country before this, so I'm exhausted. Another caravan burned, except someone made camp here, and I never heard about this attack. Let's look around. Something sticks. Yeah, we're getting some good stuff. That does it. That's all I... There's another way. NCR? Are you out of your fucking mind? That'd take years. And with the war with the Legion, no way they're gonna waste time running up the Crimson Caravan or the Van Graffs. Alright. If you poke around the Van Graffs and Alice, fine. But if I see either one go into their camp, I'm going to start shooting, no matter what you find. I've heard enough. Let's get a move on. All right, then. No, I can't move. I'm sure you'll be fair and equitable, Bob. So we could give, uh... We could give him the plasma rifle, and then we could give him the combat armor. Okay. So I don't want to do Cass's quest right now. Um... Oh, did we already side with somebody? Help the... Oh, I don't know. Ooh, I don't know. I've done so much in this game already on my character. I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking we could, uh, go to, um, oh, I don't know, uh, let's do a DLC. Why not, right? You know what, that might be a bad idea. Let's do the Happy Trails. Okay, he's getting a little loud. So what do you guys think, um, what DLC should we do? I think we're just gonna do the, the, 
one that has the stuff in it. Oh, no, but that means I don't have all the other equipment that I could... Oh, I don't know. Uh, I think I'm going to do the Midnight Science Fiction. Okay, uh... I want to show you guys Ulysses when I can. Uh, let's go to Nipton. Okay, here we are now. Yes, see, I got sniper precision. Somebody else here. We go. That's where it was. Good. My fists were getting bored. Okay, I was wondering why she was carrying around a knife. I don't need anything from in there. What do we got here? Just his armor. Okay, let's keep going. I need to switch my hat. Sorry I'm not talking too much. This is what it's like when you don't have uh, edited stuff. But, as I said, I'm just trying to spit out content. Save. Somebody around here. D and what do you have? Um, I think we might want to take this. Sure, why not? Just gotta drop one thing. Uh, hmm. Oh, I don't know. There you go. Uh, okay. Hmm. 
Ooh, look, now there's a giant eye. Okay, so I'm just gonna let the intro play out. Oh, shut up. In the years before the Great War, Big Mountain had been the home to the brightest minds of the scientists of vision were drawn to the facility to tackle the greatest technological challenges of the era. To create a new world, fueled by technology, for the benefit of all mankind. Sonic emitters, space age alloys, DNA hybridization, force field particle research, autodoc advances in cranial, cardiac, and trauma surgery. The hopes and dreams of a century became realities in the electronic forges of Big Mountain. The nucleus of this research was the dome, a huge stone facility that held the labs of every science known to man. It was a think tank where no problem could not be solved, where no question could not be answered. The Great War brought a new energy to Big Mountain and its scientists. Although sheltered from the front lines, the scientists waged their own war, fighting their battles at the atomic level. Equations and calculations marched endlessly across chalkboards and computer terminals toward one solution, winning the war. For years, the minds and computers of Big Mountain were a blaze of trajectories weapon schematics, and nuclear theories. The problems began to outpace the solutions, first geometrically, then exponentially. As the war escalated, so did the questions. On the night of October 23rd, 2077, the scientists received an answer that put all their questions to rest. In the aftermath, Big Mountain's silent experiments went to sleep, their creators slowly dying in the new world that had been left behind. And the great stone in the middle of the Big Empty lay untouched, filled with countless technological wonders. Wonders that, in the end, had been answers to the wrong question. This is the best DLC. I love it. Ugh. I'm sorry, I hope I didn't ruin the immersion or whatever you'd like to call it for that intro. I just ran downstairs and got me some juice. Thinking about it now, my fish needs water. I'm not reading all this. I think I'm gonna make a separate video because these guys talk so much. What? So, I have Veronica with me, apparently. Tell me about the Brotherhood of Steel. It pays like ass, but it's hard to get other work with my skill set. What do you want to know? Never mind. Let's. So, um, I'm just gonna see if I can bring Raul and everybody to Big Mountain. So, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this video.
In the next video, I you could skip, but the views are always nice because I know there's only like eight people that watch my channel. Not even eight, like two. And one of those are my other account. Um, so I'm gonna see if I could get Raul and Cass in here. Normally, Veronica is not not allowed in here. So, okay, see you guys in the next video.